Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where, once again, it has been a while since I've played. I just got back from a couple adventures and work stuff, which are also kind of adventurous. <laughs> um, but I turned off HDR and I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye just on my own screen and on the recording screen and it looks like it's not so bright. I was having issues last time having to, like, what was that? Uh, having to edit some stuff in post because it was so bright, like ridiculously bright. Um, and that was that was not good. A slaughter spine site. Anyway, I do. We do have a couple quests we can do. Well, mostly we have the main quest, and then we have Katalo's quest. But I kind of want to hang out here and just go. East. Somebody said to went through a bunch of comments that near the boat to on the mainland portion, yeah, past here, there's like a little island that leads you to a secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Um, I won't spoil the secret, but it is, it is something I do want to go see. <laughs> so, but first, we're gonna play around here. I do want to explore this part of the island. And I did see also one of my commenters was uh, doing a, a little tour of San Francisco because they happen to know about all these places in San Francisco. And I was like, hey, look at that. So that was interesting, but I don't know San Francisco. So it's cool to be in a new place. But I just want to kind of see what else is going on on this island. I don't know if there's any secrets or what. I don't, I don't know any of that. But regardless, I hope you guys are doing well. Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm making things hard for myself. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Oh no! I don't think you can get to me, though, is the thing. Oh, that's unfair. Well. Not getting out of that easily. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, bringing... Can't remember any of the controls for anything. <laughs> I oh think dang! Someone's in trouble nearby. Yeah, I just killed this. Um. Uh, and spotted. Oof. They didn't do anything. I'm upset. The machines are gone. You can come up. Oh, that there's only two. What happened, Sunori? I thought I was done. The living Whoa. ancestor. Sunori, the living ancestor is here. Alright. Where's the other one? Oh, is she dead? doing trapped under a bridge Th there were wide moths they smashed our boat and then we were so busy escaping them that we ran into these machines and I I slipped and fell it's dangerous out here I know but Tsunare wanted to go on we hadn't found any relics in the places the diviners told us to search he, he wanted promotion he he insisted we try here. He was right. We we found a relic with some data on it, but then the wide moths found us. They they smashed our boat. And I dropped the relic into the waters when we ran. I'm sorry about your friend. Yes. 
I can't even mark his death by taking the relic back to Landfall. Where did you drop this relic? Down there, to the southwest, in the plaza with the statue on the column. Go back to Landfall. We'll see if I can find it. Promotion, that's an interesting concept. So, and she does look like she's wearing the less fancy gear. She said to the south. West, I can't, it's over here somewhere. Um. Nothing? Oh, is it a, is it a relic? One, cause uh, that's too bad, honestly. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, uh, what? Oh, is it's? I mean, this from wait, where are we? I guess it is from the southwest from here. Okay, well, I was looking at this, that one. Uh, so she dropped it in the actual relic place. How convenient. Let's just go have a look. I might look up a guide to how to get it. Because I... If somebody wants it... And I'm interested to know more about the Quen. Okay, enough trip wires. Well... That's enough trip wires, you say, but I have different outfits. There it goes. Mhm. Mm Perfect. Well, that worked. Partially the way I wanted it to. Call I think it probably statue, used up. Smashed boat. Wide moths. This has to be the place that relic was dropped. So where is it? I mean, if I could just see it, that'd be good. Let's see if I can... Can't save here, okay, well. Let's see, we got the one that's closest to us taken care of. There's the boat. Stealth kill. There, an old world voice recording. That must be the relic the Quinn Circle dropped. Point nine, point nine on our home tour of San Francisco, the Dewey Monument. Recently returned to Union Square, this 85 foot column celebrates the American naval victory at Manila Bay. When their force of outdated vessels, in the Philippines, many of the Spanish sailors must have known they faced a hopeless task. Driven by duty, but poorly led, the Spanish fleet, wrong place, at the wrong time and was destroyed by a technologically superior force. The old world had been defeated by the new. I don't even know what that was, uh, it was like... It was over top of stuff, I don't know what that was about. Yeah. Okay. old world had been defeated by the new this is like an actual historic thing or uh okay this was an actual uh, monument like a, a historic one like for an actual uh battle uh manila bay during the spanish-american war the work on the monument began in 1901 and it was defeating or sorry <laughs> Uh, dedicated in 1903. It's a statue of Nike. I don't know if we can 
get close. The god, the Roman goddess of victory. You should be able to see there was a trident in her hand. I guess probably in her, what is her right hand if she's facing us. And then, uh, what do they call it? A circle, not a circlet. Wreath, which represents President McKinley, who's the one who commissioned it, I guess. But then he was assassinated and Theodore Roosevelt was the one who finished it up, I guess. Um, interesting. I don't know freaking anything about the Spanish-American War, I'm not gonna lie. The Manila Bay sounded familiar, but I think it might actually be familiar from a different war or something, so... Yay me. I don't know anything. American history is not my forte, uh, it's not something I'm particularly interested in anything in the last, like, 300 years. It's not something I'm particularly interested in, but... Still good stuff to know. While I'm in landfall, I could search for the soldier. But I am. Yeah, I am interested to see. She would be over here then, I think, which is where the. Well, I'm here. I might as well tell that soldier what I found. Yeah, I know. I'm also actually curious if that guy is in here. Like, if this pavilion is in use. Even with the, sorry, even with the CEO guy being gone. Come now. I'm in! <laughs> Dang it, I'm so sorry. I Come now. Anyway, let's see. Yeah. Living ancestor, thank you so much. You saved my life. There you are. I found the relic you lost. You ready for guard duty? Here. I hope you find something useful on this relic. I'll take it to the Diviners. They'll record the data along with Sunori's name. He'd have liked that. A living ancestor, can you tell me what the relic is? It's a recording. A history of the place where you found it, and a warning that you should choose your battles carefully. I wish Sunori had lived to hear it. I will heed its words. Interesting, what an interesting way for her to phrase that. I mean, it's true, right? But You're it sure almost feels like right? Aloy, I don't think, it, it's almost interesting where she kind of is living up to like the living ancestor name. And I think she sometimes uses those names that people give her in order to help lend like validity, validity to the things she's saying. <laughs> um, but she's not necessarily comfortable with it. Um, Whereas normally she would just say it in a more straightforward way, you know? Oh, dang. It's a big old slaughter spine. Why is it here? There's nothing to indicate there should be a slaughter spine here. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh. There's something out there, but I'm sure it's not worth whatever trouble I'm going through to look at it. Oh, the slaughter spines are so cool, though. I don't like the look of those barbs on that thing. There's the Golden Gate Bridge. I took out the last one pretty easily. A part of me is very tempted. A vista point. Oh, that makes sense. We would have a vista point at the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. A view from the old world. That building doesn't look like any of the ruins around here. 
Oh, looking at it from underwater, that's an interesting point. That's interesting. Be it would be that tower. Maybe that one. Let's go have a look. There it is. I think that's the building anyway. Man to raise. Oh my gosh, let's go look at him. Wait, do they just like disappear when I get close? They do! That's so lame, actually. Ultra lame. Eh, eh, eh. A ruin with a dome. Kind of looks like the one in the image. Did I do it? I think I did. Okay. Good. No? Yes? No? I didn't do it. Dang. It's kind of hard to tell. Maybe I gotta get lower? Like, I can't see the Golden Gate Bridge from here. I feel like that matches up right there, but why is it? Oh, because I have the vista point. This is a pain. Oh shoot, I remember this actually. I took a bunch of uh, photos of me being underwater and looking up at the stars a while back because it was just very gorgeous. Maybe. I mean, I can't really tell which tower it is. I feel like it matches up that one, like, distant, like, like the way it would match up, like, in the distance-wise. Oh, geez. <laughs> but it's sort of a crapshoot as to whether or not I can actually... Because I can't see it from under here. I can line up the... The dome just fine. Oh, all good. I was just kind of wiggling around. Okay, interesting. An underwater point. There she is. Oh, geez. I was. What? I was looking at my phone. Who's here? No, not one of you. No. 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 Discovered Stormbird site. Well, wow, isn't that just nice for me? Dang it. Okay, well, somebody on Reddit says climbing the Golden Gate. Anyone managed to find a way? There seems to be something lit on top. Someone says there are different ways to get up higher than climbing, which I assume is the flying stuff that I still don't know anything about. But I don't know, I, I assume... There's apparently a green shine slab up there, but I don't care. I just want to get on top of it. I, I'm concerned. Nobody said anything explicit in the comments so I assume I'm not missing anything yet but we still have the wings of the ten thing that I can't do anything so I assume I can't fly yet which I don't know is a little lame I feel like I should have had access I'm, I'm on like I think what my next main mission will be the final mission I'm pretty sure so I feel like I should have access to flying by now, <laughs> but alas, alas, I'm just gonna, I am now going to explore what the south, southwest corner-ish over here. Um, we'll see, I need to get looking at that stuff too probably, but 
I just want to get the handle on this place, see if I find anything extra interesting. But... Don't look. Don't look at me. Why are there so many of you? Get him! I said it towards aggressive. <laughs> Hello. Stocking up for the hunt. Can I? I'd love to be able to override you and fly you around, but it's not something I get to do. Ooh, they're fighting now. Do it yourself, AI. That sounds terrifying. I was made in compliance with all Turing Act regulations. We know you're not smarter than you're pretending to be. Oh, that's scary. Oh. I feel like I'm walking into Jurassic Park right now. Like with the fences and the and the slaughter spine somewhere around the corner and the greenery. Feels like Jurassic World with Chris whatever his name is. One of the many Chris's. I think I could just Because from here, I just need to run north to make sure I see everything. As best I can, anyway. I feel like, I hope I'm not doing it a disservice by running around in the mist, but I think it gives it a cool vibe. I'm also just hoping the pterodactyls up to my right don't notice me. Check in the sunken remains of old Silicon Valley. The scope and spectacle of it is simultaneously inspiring and dreadful. Yes, I could see how that would be the case. Dang it, is there... I was gonna just run over and get this, uh... Oh, it's behind me. Okay, never mind. Just wanna get this... Campfire, no, no. I am, I am not doing anything to anyone. You're all free to live your lives. Ooh, now the sun's coming up, though. Oh, it's so cool looking. Well, maybe I'll run out this way. Well, maybe not. <laughs> gonna say there might be something out there but or maybe is it I was curious if there's like there's this, like this landmass that juts out here I think it's just following the artificial islands, essentially, I guess, that were made. The ocean levels obviously come up a bit because the, the Golden Gate Bridge, I think, is more covered than it was, but... Well. I do believe we have given it a fair shot. I don't know what's over here. I'm not too worried about it. Golden Gate Bridge is over here. And I can't get to it properly, apparently. So let's 
let's go back to the mainland, I guess. And this was uh, this will conclude our little San Fran tour. And I was hoping for a little bit more, but it's all right. Hopefully people aren't like, no, go back, because I'm probably about to freaking start the final quest, so <laughs> I, uh, I record in batches. But I do, really quick, want to go check out the secret. <laughs> I don't know if Aloy's ever actually been in a boat. I don't think the Nora homeland had any rivers that were deep enough for boating. They were just like streams, like water, like 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 snow snow melt streams essentially. But off she goes. Not that that hard, surely. I say, having severely injured my shoulder trying to kayak once. To be fair, though, I'd slept funny on my shoulder and it was already hurting. But I was like, ah, I'm young and youthful and full of vigor. And I'll be fine if I just power through it. Let this be a lesson to you. Uh, once you hit 30, like literally, it was the year I turned 30, uh, your body does not do that no more, no more. So. It was a bad idea, in you know what I'm saying, and now I have chronic shoulder issues. Nope, come on. Oh, I don't have enough points. This is this is a bummer. Okay, we're gonna be doing it the waterway then. Kitty, I hear you. No, oh, did she just fall in the water? That's so funny, actually. I didn't know she could just like trip into the water. Okay, this island, I think this is the island. Let's just put a little marker out there. Yeah. I think she chose the most picturesque little spit of land. I I kind of know what the secret is. I at least have a, I, I have a I have a gist of, of what it is related to, but I don't know what it is exactly. So I'm excited because uh, it is something that I really enjoy. If I can get there. Ooh, I can already see some rock art up there. Some pictographs. Oh, let's see. Looks like oh, a I'm so excited. Yes. Someone painted those markings with great care. I almost did. Okay, so what I think this is apparently. Uh, hang on, hang on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hang on. I almost did something I from think another this game. Is a really must be for a beloved friend. Oh, yeah, Some yeah. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Here we remember our friend with a view as calming as his voice, on stone as strong as his spirit. He was not just our rock, he was our oak. Sturdy and stoic, whose presence brought us comfort, and whose branches touched us all. Rest in peace. 
Sounds like he's truly missed. And it sounds like this is the singing, right? Of the Rutaru? Unless they're just using that as a memorial. I actually don't know if this has any deeper meaning. If like somebody on the development team died during process and they left this for them. Um, but what this is sort of supposed to be like, it, according to what I was told, is Ghost of Tsushima. Where you, Nishima, she went down like not as gracefully as Jin does, it, Jin Sakai does in Ghost of Tsushima, but she did kneel. And this is those haiku, po those ha haiku points throughout the game that you find. Um, and it sounded like they were kind of, it was a longer one, but it seemed like it was potentially doing a little bit of a haiku, uh, like syllabic system, but I didn't keep very good track. I was just listening. Um, I'm not 100% sure if the uh, these marks are from Ghost of Tsushima, like if these symbols are from Ghost of Tsushima. I've played it a lot, but I couldn't tell you. But what I almost did is I walked up and I tried to like um, swipe down on like that's the central like touchpad of the PlayStation controller because in Ghost of Tsushima, if you do that, if you swipe down, you bow. And I almost did that here because you can bow at some shrines and stuff in Ghost of Tsushima and little, um, like it just depends on where you're at, little like effects will blow around, you know, like little petals or sometimes frogs, like a bunch of frogs or dragonflies or whatever comes out. And I almost did that here. But so this is the, this is the Ghost of Tsushima reference with the at least with the with the poem and the kneeling there on the mat and everything so that was really cool i i did know it was a ghost of tsushima reference and i didn't know what form it took and ghost of tsushima is one of my favorite games of all time i kept that one as like something i just played on my own in 2020 as like a release for me personally i didn't record it or anything um because it was just for me to play on my own time um and enjoy it um like myself you know uh, it was also, I could only play it on my friend's PlayStation, so I didn't want to have to haul all my stuff out. We were living in the same house, but I didn't want to haul all my stuff out to the living room and record there, you know? I just wanted to enjoy it, so I did, and I, I have to actually, I had to restart it because my save file didn't transfer over properly, and it took me a while to, like, be like, okay, let's do it again, but I actually really have been really enjoying it. Uh, again, obviously, like, I really do enjoy that game a lot, and it was actually really enjoyable to replay because I could have tried harder maybe to get my save file to, like, transfer over, um, but in the end, I was like, I'm going to be kind of lost. Like, I was, like, super high level. Like, I had all this stuff, you know. I had all this gear and, like, equipment and, and abilities and stuff. But it's better, I feel like, sometimes to start over just so you can keep pace. And you're not just, like, eh, like, thrown into it again. And you don't know what to, all your abilities do. <laughs> so it's really, really fun. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It got me through 2020 for sure. <laughs> So, anyway, I'm going to call this little tour, I guess, here for now. Um, and we're going to go do the main stuff. Well, at least the uh, for now we have not Gemini, but we want to do Kotalo's quest for the what was lost on his arm. But that means we do have to go back to the base, which is what we have to do anyway for this one. So... We gotta get ready! We have to be able to subdue and capture Hephaestus. It's probably not gonna be that easy. Hey, and I can't remember if this is actually, like, the end. Like, this is, like, leading into the main one, or if this is leading into the secondary one. But I'm pretty sure it's leading into the main one. We already hit the secondary point. I could be totally wrong. I'm gonna stop. But I'm gonna stop talking. So, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Oh no, really quick. Okay, I have to I have to fix that because I did just notice this today. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons that I have this month. Thank you so much, Adam, for just editing your pledge up, my friend. I appreciate it a lot. You are super awesome. And I want to give an extra, extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my other tree tier patron who's been... Uh, whose, whose growth in the tree tier patron uh, tier has been as as long lasting as an oak. And I appreciate your contributions thus far. You guys actually truly have helped a lot. Um, I currently potentially have some medical bill stuff coming up that it would be very helpful to have 
that little bit of support. So I do appreciate you all of you very very much um so thank you guys again and thank you guys just for watching i appreciate it like the views mean a lot to me and it's just really nice to know people like my stuff so thank you guys again for watching and get ready to hop back into the main quest in the next one